All right, so I'm back again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a backup copy of your PC game or other software um, using ImageBurn. And I should note that this method can actually be used to make backup copies of, say, like an operating system disk, although I wouldn't recommend doing anything like that. So anyways, you can see that I already have image burn on my computer. Uh, if you don't, using a quick Google search, typing in image burn brings you right to the official image burn website. Enter that, scroll down, you'll see a list of the versions. I chose this one here. Click to download. It brings you to a list of places to download it from. Of course, I would choose the one provided by ImageBurn. And that just downloads seamlessly with no issue. So just do the go through the setup process, install it. Like I said, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. So now that we've got that done, And I should note, I am using two drives right now. You don't need to use two drives. You can actually do this with one drive. So what you're actually doing is copying the, the image from the drive to the computer, and then from the computer back to the drive. So what would we like to do? We'd like to create an image file from the disk. This is the disk that I'm copying from. Just an old game I've got. Uh, you can see here the supported read speeds. 6, 12, 20, and 24. Um, I would definitely choose one of those speeds. You can change that down here. Sometimes it's not always just on the uh, recommended speed. It might be on like 8 or 10. Uh, to minimize disk errors, I would choose one of the provided uh, read speeds. I'd also go with the lowest, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go with the fastest. So just click on this icon here, and it'll take a little time to complete. So what it's doing right now is just copying the ISO from the disk to your computer for uh, later use, and then I'll show you the next step of how to take that and then put it onto a blank disk. All right, so we're done. As you can see, that took about a little over eight minutes, which is a little longer than expected, but I think that happened because I am uh, I was running that disk over a US, uh, USB cable, so that might have slowed it down a considerable amount. Hopefully the uh, copying of the uh, data over to the, the new disk, which is actually inside the computer, um, will be a little bit faster. Okay, so now we just need to write that ISO to the new blank disk. So we are going to come up to mode, choose the right option. Okay, and we're going to switch over, or I'm going to switch over to the blank disk that I have in. Um, if you're using just one drive, then you'd want to just uh, take out the um, the disk with the data on it and put in your blank disk. So you can see that it's empty and it's ready to be written to. We just need to select the file that we're going to write to the disk. So please select file. And you can see that this is the ISO that I just took off the other disk for my backup. Okay. Look over here at supported write speeds, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 16. We're on one of the supported speeds. Again, I would just go to 4, since it's the slowest, uh, you'd have uh, the least chance for there being a disk error. But for the sake of the video, 
and time, I'm going to choose 16 and see what happens. And then we just click this icon here. Alright, so the disk has completed and finalized and what has happened was that the the uh, drive door opened and closed and now it's going to verify that the disk is uh, was burned correctly. Alright, so it looks like it has completed and has been verified so we have a perfect copy of our disk uh, in case anything happens to the original and from this disk you can boot, do installs, run your game, do anything that you would normally do with the original. Alright, I want to thank you for watching and if this video helped you out please hit the like button and leave a comment and of course make sure you subscribe. If this video didn't help you out please hit the like button and make sure to comment.